I want to find a Ukrainian wife because I want to find a wife who will stay at home, not work, dedicate herself to our children and will be my full-time wife. My name is Natalia Koval. I'm an international matchmaker with hundreds of happily married couples all over the world. And I want to talk about working moms and um, careers and families and how to combine one and another. Um, the thought came to me from numerous consultations with my clients. And by the way, the link to my private uh, consultation is in the description to this video. You can learn more about what a matchmaker can do for you and whether a Ukrainian woman is, is for you. Uh, in the description to this video, please follow the link, read more and come to the matchmaker consultation if this is something that will help you understand your powers in getting the love of your life. But now we are talking about working moms and whether Ukrainian women want to work, they want to take care of the home and how they see their future. And the big inspiration for making this video was a book that I read. It's called Why Mommy Drinks by Jill Sims, a British author. And I was laughing my guts off reading the book uh, because it speaks about working moms and it describes the phenomenon of a working mom. And even though that the author is a British lady, she is describing exact same issues we are going through as working moms in Ukraine. So I want to talk about this universal phenomena of a working woman and just discuss it. Hear your questions. Um, start the dialogue about a working mom and and maybe i will uh, write another video in talking about this and maybe i will even invite more women uh into a speaking club to talk about working moms and how they see combining uh, a job and family and what can be done to solve the problem so what is the problem the problem is the following uh so when a woman is working she is, and she has a family. Basically, she has two jobs. She has to tie herself to two big and important um, matters of her life. If she's got children, then these are three important matters of her life, being the job, the husband and family, and the child. When a man is married, nowadays men are switching more into raising their kids, which is a great plus. But um, creating the family atmosphere, caring about family, thinking about the family chores is historically considered a woman's job. So uh, we are not equal in this respect. Plus women are taking it personally as well. They think, we think, <laughs> we think that as women, um, keeping the family and making the family happy is our job. And then comes the trouble because uh, the job requires strong structure and a lot of masculine energy dedicating there. And uh, when we are focusing on the job, many of us are bringing that home and we start bossing our guys. And one of the guys is Alpha, he hates that. And that is the reason of lots of divorces because women cannot switch from job to family. Another problem is that um, the responsibility and the money making. Some men are thinking that if the woman is making the money, then she has to bring her input into the family because she earns the money. Yes, I agree with it. But this works when you're both the same age, when you get married in your early years, before you are 30, and this is the whole life that you are bu uh, building together. So you put your bricks, she puts her bricks, and you build the house. And then you are mixing and you're mingling with each other and you become one whole uh, being, uh, which is your family. But it is a big art, a big art of personal growth, 
of understanding, of honesty in communication and willingness to do that. In the modern world, it's very easy to move fast, to divorce, to stop relationship because in the consumer society, we, we move so quickly that ah, whatever, tomorrow is another girl, tomorrow is another guy. We, we don't pay attention to this. So men want the woman to bring money in. We do that. We bring the money in, but then we need to be equal. If you are more than 10 years older than she is, you are not equal. She is expecting more of your financial support and more of your status, and you can use that status more. If you are older, that goes without saying. Um, when you're older, you have more life experience. You have more uh, knowledge on how to live life, and you are not equal. When you are a foreigner, it is not equal. Because when you are bringing a girl into your country, she cannot make money unless she has some online project and so but this is like very rare that her job allows her to work or, or earn money uh, anywhere in the world but then women are thinking okay uh if why do i need a man now women are thinking why do i need a man if i need to pay my own bills and if i need to to pay money into it one girl was giving me a feedback that she met a guy and she was so attracted to him and he told her you need to give me 500 euro uh, when we are a family so we can afford a family wait a moment uh, uh, it's fine but why do I need you if I need to pay you to be part of your family? Traditionally, traditionally, we follow traditional family values. We try to connect them with modern days and the consumer society. But traditionally, this is the man who is taking care of the woman, brings the woman into his life and uh, they learn and grow together and they move forward together. Then she can strengthen his wealth, she can inspire him, she can give him more power to earn more because when we are together we have a reason to achieve, we have a reason to be better, we have a reason to stick together, which are our kids, which are our uh, obligations and our life together. And then uh, we become richer, we become stronger. So um, women are now thinking like, if I have to pay for all myself, what do I win having a family? And it's another dilemma of a consumer society because people are looking at this matter only from the financial point of view, which disconnects people and has less chance of creating a family which may be a goal now with the overpopulated world. But knowing that, uh, we need to pay attention to that as well, right? So the next thing is a working woman is uh, always like, <laughs> like a dog running between three fires, uh, trying to, to combine all together. And when we are having that guilt complex basically british women have the same guilt complex as ukrainian women which is written in the book in such a funny way is that when you are dedicating your time to work you are guilty that you are depriving your children of your time and you're not giving enough to your children when you are dedicating your time to children uh, and become a stay-at-home mom, then you are not having your self-realization. But the modern society is requiring everybody to self-realize. You have to achieve your goals. You have to get a mission in your life and you have to complete this mission in your life. But a work of a housekeeper or a mom, it's been calculated uh, what it costs. And roughly it's like the salary of like a, in American standards, like $80,000 a year <laughs> equivalent of uh, if you hired somebody to do everything that you are requiring from wife who does not work, that's $80,000 equivalent per year. But the woman is having inner f struggle uh, thinking like, I'm not realizing myself and I'm having all this life potential, all this education, and I have to 
give it up and i can't solve this dilemma i can only talk about this that it exists and uh, there are solutions for uh, for this like temporary issues because in general ukrainian women like to work they are capable intellectually capable of holding very high posts and this is what they do the women that are coming to me are really accomplished women who hope that they can combine together uh, having a family and uh, giving birth to children to their careers and some of them are actually successfully doing that but initially they need emotional physical and financial support of a guy that is bringing her over to another country and giving her another um, sides of social life and realization in the social life that she will be missing when uh, she is um, moving abroad and i can make this video endless because the subject is really uh, dear to me as well because having three children and raising three children i know what it is and i have been through the guilt complex of dedicating too much time to work and missing it with children did now with the quarantine and with the online education i was dedicating a lot of time to child but a lot of work tasks were missing and I can see that it is a real problem and I can only wonder what a woman feels like when the only thing that she can do is dedicating the time to children. It's very, very complicated. Nowadays, only focusing on the child isn't enough. We need more. We need, we need social life. And uh, we need a partner to help us with that and help us realize that and find an individual solution for your partner and in your family to do that. But some people want to create family and already get it happen. For example, I want a wife to work. I want her to bring 500 euro to the family. I want her to earn uh, $1,500 a month so she can pay for her insurance. And I want her and I want that now. It won't happen because an immigrant isn't legally allowed to work. And you need to find a way how she will work in order to bring that. Let me remind you that it is a process. It is a step-by-step -step process. You cannot put this as the requirement to a woman when you're beginning the relationship because it will fail because the girl's like why do i need to get married then i'm living this life here <laughs> let me remind you that actually we marry for love and we stay because we love each other we stay because we can agree with all the pros and cons of each other's personality and expectations and and and, and faults that we have we just accept them because because we love each other because we have that emotional connection you can't build an emotional connection when you're saying to a girl you must do x y and z oops doesn't work so um talking more about it we can do because this is a very individual matter and we can address it together either on my matchmaking consultation if you have an existing girlfriend and you want to talk about it and you want uh to use professional expertise with 25 years of business experiences man in matchmaking you can order my matchmaking consultation and you can get the link in the description to this video if you want to learn if a ukrainian wife is for you Come to the matchmaking boutique possible register with the website get a matchmaker consultation with me and then we will move forward with it and i will help you choose the best uh service strategy and service plan to get you there i'm interested in creating a family this is my calling i live because i support traditional family values and every match that happens makes me one more little bit closer to God. That's my belief. And I want you to be there too. So thank you for watching this video and welcome to the Matchmaking Boutique Possible.